Good day everyone. In today's video we're going to build a lithium ion charger. This charger will be able to charge lithium ion batteries all the way up to 60 volts and consists of a couple simple parts. If you're interested, stay tuned. First thing you might ask, why wouldn't we just buy a charger, for example for my 10s pack, that would just be able to plug in and charge uh, your battery without building anything. I mean those chargers are great and you can buy them for fairly cheap nowadays off uh, eBay or whatever, but uh, one of the benefits with the adjustable charger you'll be able to control how far you charge your battery. Uh, for example on this 10s pack, if, if you wanted to charge the cells up to 4 volts so they can last a lot longer you would want to charge the pack to 40 volts and with the adjustable charger you'll be able to do that you'll be able to set it just exactly uh, for 40 volts and then only charge your cells to 4 volts if you want to charge them to 4.1 volts you'll also be able to do that also with adjustable charger like this you'll be able to control how fast you charge and if you want to charge them slow and let the batteries last a long time you can do that if you wanted to charge it fast and uh, be able to recharge your pack a lot faster you can also do that uh, the way uh, we will do this is a uh, uh, first thing uh, you'll need uh, is a laptop charger uh, everybody has one laying around uh, this one is uh, just a generic laptop charger I'll show you it's only it's 19 and a half volts so uh, almost 5 amps 4.62 amps so it's a fairly powerful charger and uh, what this is it's a step up converter what it does it just basically boosts the voltage and also lets you control how much uh, current it sends out so you can boost the voltage all the way up to 60 volts with this uh, I'll be I'll, I'm gonna go to about 41 volts so I charge my battery to 4.1 volts per cell and also the current wise I, I should be able to set it for about 4 amps 4 or 5 amps uh, and uh, be able to control it. So the way you, you'll control it with, with these pa pods right here, uh, what you'll do is just uh, basically turn it in. Let me see if I can show you. So this pod right here, I don't know if you can see it right here, it says constant current. So this one adjusts the current going out. And this pod right here, it'll be marked over here. It's constant voltage that's uh, the way you will set up how much voltage you're putting out and it's pretty simple this is input and the uh, other side is the output and you'll be able to just hook it up the input from your power supply into here and then your output will go out towards the battery uh, so the first step I think I'm gonna mount this right here I'm gonna cut this cable I'm gonna hook it up to the input and then uh, we'll set this thing up together okay Alrighty guys, I'm done putting it together, just plugged it in. Uh, so basically the wire uh, that's coming out of the 
charger, a laptop charger. I cut it and then there was three wires, uh, red, black, and then there was also white. And white, I believe, is for communication between a laptop and a charger. So I just cut off the white one because I could get 19 and a half volts between a red one and a black one. So I plugged it in into the input side of the boost controller and it also marked positive and negative. So I got that wired in. And also I reused the existing wire for the charger and uh, I uh, on the output side also positive and a negative also cut off the white one also used a little bit of uh, a zip ties to kind of hold the wire together so it doesn't get pulled or anything like that uh, so then I solder on XT 60 connector right here and also like you can see the white wire is not used just to red and a black and then uh, here's the voltage output 19 and a half same as the input uh, so next step would be to adjust this uh, the first thing you want to do is I'm, I'm going to do is adjust the voltage so the way that works it's uh, this pot right here is uh, marked to CV constant voltage so uh, as you turn this out Voltage just start kind of there it goes, and I want to charge my battery all the way to 41 volts, 4.1 volts per cell since it's 10s battery. So I'm gonna go all the way to 41. You can set it anywhere, all the way up to 60 volts. Here, there we let's see how far we can take it. Oh, 67 volts. The spec sheet said 60. I don't want to hurt it, but yeah, it goes up pretty high. It goes past 60. Uh, I want to go to 41. seven, 41 right here. 40 41.1. Let me go back it up just a little tiny bit. 40. Forty point nine is good. It's real close to forty one. So the next step would be to adjust the, uh, how much current we're going to be putting into the battery. I want to put about two and a half amps on the output. That's how fast I want to charge this battery. Uh, so the way you can test the current, you can use a clamp meter. You can put it on anywhere in line, or you can use uh, your voltmeter. There's a, an amp function. If you can go all the way up to ten amps. Uh, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the app for my battery because uh, my BMS kind of comes with this app and it tells you how much current is flowing in or out of it. So I'm just going to use that to adjust it. So we don't need these anymore. And I have to do just plug this in. And already you can see we're already putting 2.3 amps into the battery. And I want to go to two and a half. So I'm just using this uh, CC, a constant current pod right here. It's this one and it's marked CC. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but this one adjusts how much current is going in. So I'm going to turn this guy. I don't know which way to go on this, to tell you the truth. I'm going to go in. Okay, in is raising at 2.7. I'm going to back it up a little bit. So you can go like two. If you wanted to charge it super slow, you can do one amp. It'll take a while to charge this pack. Or you can go... Let's see how far we can take it. As you remember, our output of uh, the power supply is uh, 4.6 amps, I believe. That's at uh, 19 and a half volts. So 4.6 times 19 and a half, I don't know, like probably like 80 watts or something like that. So I want to see how far I can take it, how many amps I can get out of it on a 40 volt line. 2.8, 2.9. Oh, it must have just shut off. I'll back it off just a little bit. Oops. 
Ooh. All right, still working. <laughs> so yeah, about three amps on the output, which is at 40, 40 volts or whatever this battery is at right now, about, you know, 35 volts. That's about 100 watts or so. That's pretty good. So two and a half would be good. Actually, I'm going to back it down to about two. That's going to be about 80 watts. So we're not overheating the laptop charger. So yeah, I'm just going to do two I'm gonna do 2.2 2.1 2.1 is good so yeah 2 2.1 amps flowing into my battery now and that's how you adjust it if you wanted to plug it into a different battery you would have to readjust it and redo everything but uh, this is perfect uh, that way you don't have to charge your cells all the way if you want to prolong their life but thanks for watching guys uh, I hope you liked it it's pretty simple charger setup uh, it takes just a few minutes, as you can see, to build. It's getting a little warm as it's charging, but I mean, that's uh, that's that's okay. That's how it should be because we're running at about 80 watts. So uh, anyways, I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it. Uh, I hope to see you in my next videos. Hope you liked the video. Share it uh, with somebody who might be helpful. And uh, it could work for any kind of batteries, e-bikes, whatever batteries you use. This is an e-bike battery here. And... Uh, Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.